that throttle body's not sticking on this car, but if you own one of these or you're thinking of getting one, that could be one of the issues you run into. Let's go over the top five problems on this sixth generation Ford Fiesta. If you're having any of these problems and you need to fix them, make sure you get your parts at 1AAuto.com. Now let's get into the throttle body. The throttle body is what controls the airflow going into the engine and it's always in between the air box and the intake manifold. Some of the symptoms you're going to find with a sticking throttle body is lack of acceleration, you may not have throttle response correctly or extremely high idle. Most of the reasons why you have an issue with the throttle body sticking is carbon buildup on the back of the throttle body and it has to do with the gases burning in the engine and carbon just builds up there. In certain conditions, you can just clean the throttle body with some carburetor cleaner and a toothbrush works best, but a lot of times that's not enough. You're gonna have to replace the throttle body itself. To replace the throttle body on this vehicle, it's actually pretty simple. You take the snorkel off, there's a couple of bolts, and you're gonna wanna replace the gasket as well. Moving on to the next problem, the water pump. Some of the symptoms you're gonna find is overheating. You may see some coolant dripping on the ground, or you may even hear some bearing noise coming from the front of the engine. If you notice coolant dripping on the ground, make sure you check. It could be coming from the passenger side. Most likely that's from your water pump. If it comes from anywhere closer to the radiator, it's probably something different. Although the water pump does not get driven by the timing belt, the body does go behind it. And in that case, you're gonna to wanna to give yourself a little more time to do that. Make sure you take a look at that timing belt while you're in there, you might want to replace it while you're doing the job. Now, if you're rattling down the road, you may have something going on with your front lower control arms. Let's go over some of the symptoms. You have some bushings right here and there's a lower ball joint. If those loosen up, you're gonna have some rattling, some clunking, or you may even have some steering issues when you go to steer the car. The steering may feel a little wonky, something's not lining up quite right and sometimes even stepping on the brakes, if the bushings are bad, this whole arm's gonna move and that's gonna cause the steering wheel to do some funky things. Overall, the job's pretty easy and when you're done, you wanna bring it to a local shop to have it professionally aligned so you don't have premature tire wear. Moving to the back, we're gonna talk about the fuel pump, which is in the fuel tank in this vehicle. Some of the symptoms you're gonna notice is the vehicle stalling, the vehicle cranking but won't start, or weak acceleration. In some situations, if you're just trying to move the vehicle a short distance and you wanna get the vehicle started and you think it's the fuel pump, what you can do is take a rubber mallet while someone is cranking the key and just give the tank a couple bonks. Sometimes that'll get the vehicle started so that you can move it. It doesn't mean the fuel pump is fixed, but it'll just get you moving a little distance. Luckily for this vehicle, we don't actually have to drop the fuel tank down. We can actually do it from up top. Luckily, there's an access port right here under the back seat. All you have to do is take out the base of the back seat, then we can access this cover. Take this cover off. And there's the fuel pump. The fact that this is here also helps with testing it if you wanted to confirm that you had a bad fuel pump. You can disconnect the connector. These two thicker wires are the power and ground for the fuel pump. So you want to make sure you have power and ground at those two wires right there. And that's those two terminals right there. The other ones are for the float to let you know how much fuel's in the tank. And the last problem we're going to go over is the blower motor resistor. You may notice when you have your heat or AC on, that when you go to select the different speeds, you may have a speed that cuts out. And that's a good indication that the blower motor resistor is faulty. Uh, one of those speeds has burnt out internally and you're gonna have to replace the resistor. It's fairly easy to access. Underneath the glove box, there's a cover and it's right near the blower motor itself. Those are the top five problems that we have found with this Ford Fiesta. Overall, not that bad, pretty easy repairs. If you need any of those parts, make sure you get those at 1AAuto.com by clicking the link in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. All right. Um, okay. It is part of the intake system. Let me do it again. Moving on to the next problem, the water pump. 
<laughs> do it again. Overall, the job's pretty easy. When you're done, <laughs> ready? <laughs>